Cubs, or in the first meeting, uh, did not have a good performance. Two points, two rebounds. He got three quick fouls early in the injury, although David England, the Arkansas trainer, said it's a bit sore, and Gary hits a fadeaway jumper. Going to his left, and the Hogs are on the point on Buchanan. And the turnaround from the baseline falls through by Frank Williams. He was the guy that hurt Arkansas so badly in Waco. You know Middleton and, and Michael Williams are going to get theirs, but you can't let half Frank Williams have 15 points, 13 boards, and expect to beat Baylor. Fury, he does that. 55 left the first half. Heath Wilson, pretty play up the baseline. As Ron mentioned, usually you'll see that zone a little. Here's a steal, Gary. Little lead to Freeman. Gary picks it up to credit. Back to Gary. Oh, oh, my. What an assist by Mario Credit at 6'10". Going down the floor, avoid the charge. Which the coaches say he's not. He is destined for great things. And what an offensive rebound by Ron Gary. Gary on And rebounding up court, Michael Williams. Jumper is up and it's good. Middle together. And here is jumper partially blocked. McKellar there to pick up the garbage. Drops it to Baker. Good. And he'll go to the line for a three-point. Get it. Scott won't go. There's McKellar again in the right spot. Phillip Shot just won't go. But Ray is up there. And Andrew has his first two. Everyone seems to play hard. McKellar flashing into the passing lane, couldn't make the steal, but Lang will send it back up into center field. Bobs it nicely to Lang. Great pass by Lang to Scott. Andrew with good look at the baseline, and Scott was there, and he just dropped it, delivering him the pass. I don't believe we'll see them unless they're forced. Lang, fine turnaround. As he turned into the baseline and got the right. We haven't seen Baylor go inside the post area that much in the last uh, five or six minutes. Oh, Yuri missed the stuff, but Radliff is there to follow it up. Well, it's great to see the senior come in, pick up the follow up. Yuri missed a dunk that he's. What a move underneath by Frank Williams, and Williams now with four points. To the hall, there's a steal by Yuri. And Yuri taking it all the way this time. No question about what he was going to do with that one. He made up his mind. He will be named the Arkansas Valvoline Player of the Year. What a shot. Holy smoke. Wow. Williams now with five. Was he using the glass? Arkansas Sports Hall of Fame. I think that's only a matter of time. Good move. To the bucket by McLemore, who has six points now, and it's 32. We'll be back with our halftime program. The score, Arkansas 32, Baylor 24. And Middleton all along. Looked like he was going to slam it, and then felt he would be better off to use the board. Middleton again inside, and that's on Mario Credit, and that's four on Mario. McKellar. And Phillip comes out with his gun loaded. And McKellar's on the board for the first time today. And it is 35-29. Three-pointer. As you pointed out, McKellar was 0 for 4 in the first half, but he had three big offensive rebounds and played good defense. Ooh, big basket there. And a fun lord, but went for a steal. Let Williams get past him. How in the world? I'd like to see that over again. Mike Ratliff Frank plays Williams did a great <laughs> job of getting to the base. Bit. Great drop off. Radliff can't get it to go, but he takes it back up again. Allie Freeman getting the ball inside. Penetration against the matchup. McKellar for three. And again, when he's on rhythm like that, he's a 50% 14 08 left to play. Second one, no good. And Baylor again with a big offensive rebound by Middleton. Middleton with 10, and Baylor's offensive boards in the first half, Nine. but it has been pretty effective here in the second half, and again, Radliff steps in, the feed to McKellar, great feed by Radliff, McKellar gets the layup. You can't run it any further than that, Radliff with a great steal to your basketball legs about you. Then Scott, well, you called it, he could start warming it up, finding the range. Final game here at home. 
Scott reaching in. Lang picks up the loose ball that almost left it a little soft. McKellar, that's a three-pointer. Long Gilad is going to get a timeout. Scott with three, McKellar with three, runs up to the junior center, and Tim Scott, the junior guard. And McKellar makes a steal. He's going to take it all the way for the layup. McKellar and Scott are both explosive. They've got eight points in a quick less than a minute. That's the kind of run that Arkansas made when they were playing so crosser. Begin to run the better zone. Got the ball in the post area. Oh, great pass. Good. We saw it in the first half. Good bounce pass. Hogs have been on the verge in both halves of breaking the open. Philip McKellar now has 15 points. All high over Middleton. Down court quickly, three on two breaks. Scott pulls up and his 15-footer finds home. Nine for Tim Scott, 10 point, raise it back lead at 58-48. Radliff playing his final game in Barnhill. Tim Scott a bit off the mark, but here he follows, no good, and Lang coming down the middle is there to put it back up and in. No fouls by Arkansas at this point. Middleton went over Lang. On the baseline with the ball to McKellar. And Phillip puts it up on the run. And what a slam follow by Scott. And the Baylor players are complaining. They thought that he goaltended and hung on the air. That's an 11-point lead with a minute 38. Now Arkansas has got to protect the three-point area. And Buchanan guns it. You're right. You said he's the guy. Wow. Hobbs can shoot it. You know, they have to be aware of him. He's only the set and didn't get a good solid pass off. Three-point shot. Now, Buchanan fills it up. One of the two, one of the three free throws, and don't get it down, and that's the basketball game. But then Baylor's going to force it up, take a bad shot. Well, that's a foul, Scott. That's over and back. And Good call to the referee, but it's the ball game, and a big win in Barnhill for the Arkansas Razorbacks. So the two teams split in their series so far, and it is Arkansas 71. Baylor 67. We'll be back with a wrap-up in just a moment. 